Now, some other ways you can get your parents involved is that you can get them to help with learning. Uh, so it's not just uh, whether or not they care about learning and helping them to keep the student learning and motivated and all those types of things. It's also how can you have parents be involved in the learning. Uh, so that can range from things like having students go home and interview their parents about a particular thing. Maybe it's you're looking at maybe renewable energy and you go, okay, go home and interview your parents about you know, how are they renewing energy and what they're doing around the house? What do they do about climate change in relation to energy? Uh, or maybe, and then ask them, what do you think? What, what things could they do uh, to improve uh, the use of energy in their house? And so that could be a simple way of getting the parent involved in the learning, uh, if, particularly if parents aren't free during the day. You could do flip videos. Uh, like I said, I like to do flip classroom stuff. So if I flip my videos and whatever else, it doesn't allow for parents to be engaged and to be watching those videos. And there will be occasions where I should say, you know what guys, when you watch this video, I want you to watch it with your parents because I want your parents to be able to talk to you and know what's actually going in that video uh, so that you can foster a bit more discussion from them. And you might even go, yeah, here's a couple of questions to ask your parents after the video to see if they were paying attention. Uh, that can be really good to just get the parents a bit more involved and engaged in what's going on. Uh, you could have parents Skype into your classroom or use Google Hangouts or uh, you know, Zoom is a great tool for doing that kind of stuff too. Uh, just you, know, you could do a live video chat uh, with that parent. Uh, or you could have the parent make a video and then you could play the video in your classroom. It's still allowing the parent to get engaged. Uh, you could ask them to uh, record an interview maybe. Uh, you might call them up and just chat to them over the phone and you could record that and share that with your students. Go, oh, I was chatting to uh, Blah Blah's parent today and you know, we were just chatting about all things science because he works in a laboratory. We're talking about chemicals and what makes things explode and uh, so I thought I might share this with you, the conversation I had with the, with the parent and what they were doing, and maybe they're trying to cure some kind of crazy disease or something, and uh, you can talk to them about, oh, what's going on? How, how do you actually go about that process? And even if it's just thinking about the skills involved in the scientific learning and experimentation stuff, it, it'll be good for your students to gather that. Uh, and then you could also have them obviously come and be physically present and present, uh, or even better, you could go to where they are to show them and explain stuff as well. So if you have a parent who is particularly uh, skilled uh, in environmental science or something, and that's what you have to be looking at, you could organize a field trip to their work. Uh, if Obviously if you have to organize all that beforehand, but you could organize that and then go and have that parent actually go, oh, look, this is what we're doing here in this environment and it's really important and this is why, and you know, this is my role within this and there's a whole team working behind it or whatever it happens to be, uh, it's really, will be great if, like, if either having that parent come in or go, going to them is ideal, but I know going to them is also a lot harder, but it's, it's a bit easier to get them to come in or to make videos or to do live uh, videos with them. Really just it helps to engage them. And I think technology has really opened this up for us because now you can engage your parent, even if that parent works on the other side of the world, you can still organize a live video or have them make a video to chat to the kids about something. Maybe they work in technology uh, and they can talk about the latest thing in artificial intelligence with your students. And so you might go, oh, I'm gonna call this guy's dad. He's gonna come and he's gonna chat to us live across the, the world from, you know, he might be in the States or in the UK or something. And he's just gonna share with us about what he's working on in terms of artificial intelligence. Uh, what things can do already and what things are coming. And that could be really uh, inspiring, I think, for your students as well. Yeah.